Story time. It is story, story, story time. Yippee! It's time for a new story. Everyone's ready. One, two, three. Madhubani is a traditional art form mainly practiced by women of Madhubani district in Bihar. Some of them have come a long way and their work has been recognized across India and even awarded by the government. Know more about one state award winner Sunena Devi and the folk art of Madhubani. The title of the story Sunena Devi Story of a Madhubani Artist written and illustrated by Vibha Lohani, published by Story Weaver Community, narrated by Asavari Doshi. For more such interesting stories and articles, do visit our website www.booksthatspeak.com. Let's meet Sunena Devi. India has its fair share of women achievers in various fields like banking, science and others. There is a different league of women achievers too. They may not have the privilege of education, but they still manage to make a mark in the world by sheer talent and determination. Meet Sunena Devi, an award-winning Madhubani artist from Bihar. Sunena Devi was born on 28th July 1951 in the Duhabi village on the Indo-Nepal border. It falls in the ancient Mithila region and the people across border are bound by marriage and blood. Young Sunena was married in 1966 at an early age to Sri Ganesh Jha of village Jitwarpur located in Madhubani district of Bihar. Though she did not get a chance to attend school, marriage gave her a chance to learn the art form of Madhubani. Initially, she started to assist her mother-in-law in making the paintings. But when the young bride showed talent and understanding of the art form, her in-laws and husband encouraged her to learn it further. Sunena learned about the different styles of Madhubani art like Bharni, Kachi, Tantrik, Godna and Kohbar. When her children were barely 3-4 years of age, Sunena Devi lost her husband but she did not lose hope and made paintings along with the rest of her family to earn a living. In the initial days, she depended on traders who took the paintings to various places for selling but the income was not steady. The traders took the paintings and returned after months, sometimes with little or no payment. Soon she joined a center where other Madhubani artists like herself gathered and created artwork for commercial purpose. This ensured her a monthly income, enough to run her household. Every day she travelled from Jitwarpur to Madhubani to paint. On seeing her talent, the managers of the centre encouraged her to travel to various locations to display her work and earn better. They even taught her how to write her own name. She travelled to cities like Bangalore, Delhi, Mumbai with other artists where she made various paintings on large scale for hotels, offices or even celebrity bungalows. She mainly practiced the Kachi and Bharni style of Madhubani. In a span of nearly 40 years, Sunena Devi had seen the recognition for Madhubani increase and her paintings find more takers in various crafts fairs organized across the country. Her hard work and talent got recognition and finally, in the year 2013-14, Sunena Devi received the state award for her painting by the then Chief Minister of Bihar, Sri Nitish Kumar. Sunena Devi currently lives in a village with her family. She is enjoying life as a grandmother and is also teaching her daughter-in-law and grandchildren this traditional art form, just the way her in-laws had taught her once. She now paints at leisure in between her routine life. Her daughter Meera says that Sunena Devi usually works on the Bharni style of art now as Kachi is a finer work and old age has affected her eyesight.
Her son Manish Jha and daughter Meera both have learned Madhubani art from their mother. Manish currently works as a trader for these Madhubani paintings and participates in various exhibitions and handicraft fairs across the country. Now some facts about Madhubani art. Madhubani also known as Mithila painting originates from the Mithila region which falls on both the sides of Indo-Nepal border. In India the region is located in the state of Bihar. Its origin is traced back to the Ramayana during the wedding of Shri Ram to Princess Sita of Mithila. These paintings depict various occasions and were originally done by women of Madhubani region only. The paintings are inspired by nature and mythology and use symbolic images like lotus, kalpavruksh, peacock, sun, etc. The colors used are traditional dyes and pigments and twigs, fingers, brushes or matchsticks are used to draw. The Kohbar style of Madhubani is practiced across Bihar and is especially made in households during weddings in the family. Wow! That was fun, right? Do you want to hear more stories like this? Yes! Then log on to www.books.speak.com Eruwaoi! Eruwaoi!